it's so raw. So in my book here, I say, you know, there's this guy named Napoleon Hill. He was like one of those um, get rich gurus. He wrote a book, Think and Grow Rich. He was talking about this sexual energy all the way in the 1800s. So it's not just something, you know, us new age people are coming up with now, but it's very powerful. I manifested the money to publish my book using the energy, <laughs> sexual energy manifesting. I manifested my business. I manifested a wonderful relationship. All of these things, it's real. And I'm manifesting so much more, millions and you know, all that good stuff. But in my book here, I say, at the high point of orgasm, when the sexual energy is at its highest, we can accomplish or attract great things to us. The power of positive thought at this point works faster and is more powerful. Sexual energy is creative energy, and at this very critical point, it can be a very powerful tool to bring to you what you desire. It's so powerful. Uh, just a quick, a quick uh, point, a quick fact. Male sexual energy, you saw what happened to him, right? So men are quickly aroused, much quicker, much quicker than women are. And there's actual scientific fact behind that. It's not just because women are difficult and all that stuff, even though some women are. You know, we, women, we've gone through a lot of stuff, so we have to remove those obstructions. But men, sexual energy is created by the tiny little sperm in their body, millions of them wagging their, thank you. <laughs> thank you, baby. <laughs> wagging their little tails. And this causes a vibration in the body that. <laughs> <laughs> this causes a vibration in the body, a very intense vibration in the body. Imagine millions of small little men in his body wagging their tails, just dancing. So that's why men are aroused so quickly. Women's sexual energy is generated by the cilia, the small cilia around their egg. And it's a much more relaxed and it's a much lower vibration. So that's why it takes us a minute to get to our boiling point. I thought that was a very interesting fact. Yeah. And everyone should know that. It's kind of bridging the gap between men and women. Because a lot of men come to me and it's like, it takes forever mm -hmm. to get her hot, you know? So that's, those are actual scientific, that's an actual scientific fact. Yeah, I just learned that. I Good. Mean it. <laughs> Good. So, yeah, very powerful stuff. So in the book, I go into actual techniques on how to do your visualization to attract the things in your life, when to visualize at the moment of orgasm, and if you haven't had an orgasm, apply the things in the book or see me. <laughs> but yeah, it's very, very, very powerful stuff. It's, it's time for us to look at sex, orgasm in a new way. There's so much going on right now in this world. And we all, each and every one of us, have the power to heal it. But first we have to heal ourselves. And this is a great tool to do it. A wonderful tool. The greatest tool that we have, really, and the most pleasurable, really. So, also in the book I say, we can send healing to our partner and ourselves. In many practices, sex and orgasm are used to send healing and energy to different parts of the body. Instead of losing energy from the orgasm, you know men lose, actually lose energy mm -hmm. from orgasm? Women gain energy from our orgasms, but men actually lose it. Mm -hmm. So I teach men how to have an orgasm without ejaculating, because they lose, <laughs> I saw your face. They actually lose that vital force through the ejaculation. So, did you know there was a difference between orgasm and ejaculation? That's what I was thinking. I was confused. I'm like, yeah, the, the ejaculation is just the end result. Mm -hmm. It's the end result, and that's it. 
and you're lose aren't you tired mm -hmm. yes so you're losing a lot of your vital force mm -hmm. so that actually can be taken back up and you can choose which organ you wanted to heal yourself and you can gain brain power you'll feel like you could get up and run a marathon after that and it doesn't take away from the pleasure not one bit it increases it actually so many men are afraid it's like what i can't i was going to say something else but i don't know if i can say that i can't ejaculate what are you talking about but no it actually it increases the pleasure tenfold really so um instead of losing energy from the orgasm energy is gained by moving the energy up instead of its usual downward and outward movement it is moved up and you can choose which organ you will distribute it to in other practices orgasms are used as a natural fountain of youth so this takes me to our health Many don't realize how our health affects our sexual vitality. Not at all. If you're not horny, if you don't have a libido, if you don't desire sex, you're kind of like, oh, I can go without it. It's not that important. There is something in your health that you need to look at. You're supposed to have a burning fire inside of you most of the time. And if you're not feeling that, there's something going on. You should have a libido. Men, when you're a teenager, you have your erections, right? And they're usually up here. And as you age, they go here, and then finally down here as you age. And then some men have this thing where you have sporadic erections, and that's called erectile dysfunction. But that doesn't happen automatically through age. It happens from not paying attention to your health. Our health just doesn't decline automatically because we get old. It's because you're not paying attention. You're not doing the things that you're supposed to be doing. Women, you're supposed to be wet and juicy all of the time. With your, if you're drying up, if you're not having lubrication, it's not just when you're about to have sex, when you're horny, it's supposed to be all the time. This starts to dry up, this area dries up, other parts of your body dries up. It's a scientific fact. Your organs begin to dry up. The hormones that are uh, responsible for other functionings in your body, if, that dry, if this dries up, that dries up. Your brain fluids begin to dry up. So, I don't know if you knew, I was watching this study and Al, um, and the doctors and scientists, thank you, were saying that Alzheimer's patients, Alzheimer's patients, actually what it is is they're losing vital sexual energy and hormones. So they inject, they actually inject Alzheimer's patients with sexual hormones. They can't figure out how to cure it, how to get the sexual energy moving back in them so their sex hormones start to flow so they inject them with synthetic sex hormones I didn't know that till when I learned it you know that this is very important and they're not going to tell you that just in talking yes yeah, it's, it's because of the sexual energy that's what causes Alzheimer's disease you know but that's actually what's causing it so we have to pay attention to these things um, don't let it dry up if you don't use it you're gonna lose it and it's for real you're going to lose you're supposed to be, you're supposed to feel good. You're supposed to feel hot and horny. You're supposed to be attracted to people. That's just the way life flows. So with me, I brought, I brought some herbs. I take these herbs every single day. You can just uh, pass that around. And those are for men and women to take every single day just to keep that flowing. Keep that energy flowing to keep you can open the box too if you want to. And I get those from Chinatown. Mm -hmm. And look at the price tag on the front of it. Four ninety-eight. Four eighty nine ninety eight. Chinese people, they know how to keep their sexual energy going. And they're doing their thing over there in Chinatown, really. Let me tell you. And I brought these other herbs here. This is uh don't cry. Every woman should be taking don't cry every single day. Don't cry. And you can pass that around. It comes in a liquid form also. 
That is a root, but you can also get it in liquid form. I like to take the root and I like to make a soup out of it. You can make, put it with your chicken noodle soup or just make a soup or a tea. You just uh, boil that with the water and you can make a tea out of it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's very powerful. So, not only that, but every single woman should be working a jade egg. Everybody heard of a jade egg? Everybody know about this egg? Yes, a jade egg, you insert this into your JJ, and it's like vaginal weightlifting. But it's increasing the pelvic floor muscles, it's gonna increase your lubrication, it's gonna increase your uh, orgasmic ability, and your partner's pleasure as well. I mean, it's so many benefits. And what the J does, you know that some crystals, many crystals and stones, they have different properties. So you can get the egg in different stones as well. I like to use the J because it's very yin. It's a yin energy. And a lot of us women, we're, we have a lot of masculine energy right now. And we have to learn how to be sweet mm -hmm. and feminine again, which I talk about in the book as well. Mm -hmm. That's our power. Our femininity is our power. So we have to learn that again. But what the crystals and the stones actually helps to do, if you've gone through trauma, have had traumatic relationships, or gone through anything like rape, abuse, this helps to pull that energy from your body because that energy actually gets stuck in your body. And we begin to interact from that place of pain. Right? All of our interactions, how we talk. If you listen to people talk sometime, you ever listen, actually listen to people talk, like go to a relationships forum and listen to the women talk. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of pain. There's a lot of anger, right? So this will actually help with that. Yes, every single woman should be working the jade egg. Every woman. So, um, I told y'all everything. Oh, here's some more herbs. These are, this is for the men, but the women actually have herbs like that as well, and those are also only $4 in Chinatown. So, I mean, people make all types of rationaliz rationalizations and things like that, why they aren't healthy and why they're not doing things, but it's simple. It's What's very the simple. The for the women? This group? What's the name? It's a mixture of roots. It has Dong Kwa, it has ginseng, it has a lot of different things. It's a whole uh, mixture. Yeah. Yes. You have a question? I want to know what was the properties of that. The properties of that? So that's going to increase male virility. It's going to increase erection power. It increases overall health. And it increases your staying power as well. Staying power, lasting oh. power. Yes, yes. So, um, before I take questions and everything, I want to actually do a couple of exercises with you guys. I want to move some of our sexual energy around. Okay? Can you hold this mic for me? I want to move it around a bit. There's many, many different exercises. Like, you can take five minutes a day and you will have energy like you drank, what are those, the five hour? Five hour energy. Yeah, coffee, you don't need all that stuff. All you have to do is harness your sexual energy. Use it, the energy of being aroused as we demonstrated, of being aroused, excited, that can take us throughout our day, throughout our life really, because what, it's our life force energy. So if everybody can stand up for a second, The movements that we usually do in dance, period, they heal our wounds, they get our sexual energy moving from our base up. This is called kundalini energy. Mm -hmm. And that actually heals us and makes us more excited. And it's, I mean, it's just overall for our life, it, it's very powerful. So here in our base is where the sexual energy starts. And if you make a habit of moving this energy in a circular motion, that gets to move, it wakens it up. It's a serpent, it wakes the serpent up and it starts to move up your spine and around. There's a technique called the micro.
microcosmic orbits. And what you're doing in lovemaking or just in general, you can sit in a meditation and just imagine energy as a white light starting here at your base and moving up your spine. There's different points in your body. Imagine that and then it stops here, then it connects and goes back down. Again, just imagine that, just sit with it and you can actually start to feel the energy. You just have to pay attention to it. You just have to focus in on it. You just felt it? Wonderful. <laughs> great, great. So we're going to just start by, my dress is kind of tight, but I'm going to do the best I can. We're going to start by moving our, um, our sacrum and awakening that energy up. So if you could just like spread your legs just a little bit and then just move in a circular motion. Come on now, I know y'all know how to move it. Let me put some reggae or something. <laughs> just move, yeah, don't rest them. <laughs> don't start that now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, this is actually a good song for this too. This is the movement. People do, this song is the movement that, uh, Shoulders, your legs, shoulders width apart. And then you start 
and Vanessa. So can you get the top of your head and you let the hand fall. Let that light fall right into the top of your head and move all the way. Imagine all that light, all that energy flowing all the way through your body to the bottom of your feet and going back to the earth. Imagine that. And then you take your hands around here. And you, as you're moving your hand in front of your body, we have something called our auric body, our auric field. It's another body right here. Just feel your hand passing through that and feel the energy into your body. All the way down, right here until you get to your belly button, just below your belly button. Anyone feel the heat from their hands into their belly button? Mm -hmm. That's intense sexual energy. You just move that a bit and then let your hand go. And do the other hand. Visualize that ball of energy in your hand, making a circular movement like the sun is circling. And then raise it up. And let it fall right on the top of your head. And let all that energy, that succulent, juicy, light energy, just imagine it flow throughout your whole body until it gets down into your feet. And imagine it, it's coming from your feet down into the earth. And take your hand around your body. And in that spot where your belly button is, it's called the Zan Tien. And then circle, make a circle motion with your hand. Are you feeling that heat from your hand? Are you feeling that heat in my hand? I'm feeling coming from my hand. So try to visualize that white light coming from your hand, that heat you feel coming from your hand, going into your tongue in where your belly button is. And feel that, any woman here like getting wet? <laughs> yes. A pool, yes. The gush. <laughs> and then let your hand go. You know, there's a lot of talk, you know, um, I don't know if this is a little too graphic, but I'm going to say it anyway. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of talk now. With, we live in a, a porn society. And there's a lot of talk, which this is real. It's not really porn, but porn makes it perverse. A lot of talk about squirting now and the gushing and things like that. And it's not a myth. It's for real. You know, but doing these type of exercises, like you just said, when you had your hand here and you're done at the end, you felt like a pool. That's our sacred waters. And uh, ancient Sanskrit, they call this Amrita. And men used to actually drink it before they went to war because they thought, they thought it made them immortal. So what it actually is, is glucose. It's this sugar coming from our body. It's not urine. It's not that at all. And a lot of women are afraid to let go and release because they feel like it's urine. They feel embarrassed by it. You know, but it's not. It's something very, very powerful. It's like almost an initiation into femininity to have that happen for you. You know, so you can sit down. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. So, um, man, the book is about healing. That's my work is to heal. We go through so much stuff, men, women, like. We walk outside, we see so much illness, we see so much pain, we go through it ourselves. We've all gone through heartache, we've all gone through pain, we've all gone through so, some type of trauma. But you harness this energy we're talking about, it will alleviate that. Your pain will become much less. You, I'm not gonna tell you that you won't have any pain, because it's gonna come, that's part of life. But it will be much less, you know, and you will, be able to experience that joyful, that blissful life every day. So in the book, I go deep into that.
techniques, rituals, everything to heal your life. For men and women, really. Herbs, health regimens, all that stuff to actually get into healing your life. Yes. I noticed you had on the table the wushi. Show yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, <laughs> is that something that, now you've heard of bondage shoe? No. Bondage shoe is a little bit better than that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do they have um, it in China? They, they, they don't have that um, in uh, Philly. You got to get that. Well, you may in certain places in Chinatown, but for the most part, you'll find it up in New York. They got a place like that. What's it like called? Bandi Say it loud, so. Bondage shoe. Bondage shoe, yeah. It's, it's, it comes in the same pack. <laughs> But um, <laughs> I'm not even gonna make it. <laughs> but um, it comes in the same packaging like uh, that. Okay. And it's, it's an herb, okay. and it's fermented so that it gives you the same type of effect, but it's a little bit more stronger and deeper like that. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Yeah. So that's another. Right. Thing. Thank you for that. Okay. Are there any questions? Yes. Does the jade come in different sizes? Yes. This is the medium size, which I recommend women start off with. There's a larger size, and there's a much smaller size than it. So if you've had a baby, um, and you feel like you're kind of really stretched out, you want to start with the larger size. If you're okay, you had a baby, and you feel like um, you're not that stretched out, you'll start with the medium size. And then you'll eventually go into the small size. And then eventually, this is real, so you can put a string through it, you eventually attach the small egg to the large egg and you lift it up with your vaginal muscles. Yes. So I'm thinking, what's the difference with having that instrument right there versus the Kegels? This is different. The Kegels is just like, say if you're doing uh, bicep curls and you have no weight, you might get some results, but you're not gonna get big results like if you had a weight here. Mm -hmm. You're gonna start to see form and you're gonna start to see cuts and stuff like that. You're gonna get more of an intense workout. That's what this does. And also it has properties, the stone has properties as I mentioned before, that will help pull certain things out of your body. Toxins, the dramatic energy that we hold on to in our bodies is something called body armory. So your body, the tissues in your body, actually hold on to traumatic experiences. And when, mostly for women, when you go to have intercourse, when you go to have sex with someone, your body automatically locks up. This, there's uh, this thing called vaginismus, where women are so tight that a man cannot even enter them at all. And this is mostly because of trauma. Your body remembers that. And it's trying to protect you from more trauma but it's actually uh, not allowing you to feel pleasure at all. So that's called body armoring. So this would help with that. It actually helps you pull it out. And you know, a lot of uh, women say, yeah, my egg, I feel like I'm attracting more stuff to me. My egg is so powerful. But the thing is, it's not the egg. The egg does have certain properties, but it's you doing the work. You have to do the work. If you want to see any results in your life, you have to apply things. That's in books. All of us read these self-help books. We have to apply the things, and we actually have to do the work. So if you're inserting this egg, I'm oh, sorry. If you're inserting this egg, and you're moving your pelvis, you're doing the work with it, and you're starting to feel more feminine and more powerful from it, that's you doing the work. It's not just the egg. We give these outside things power when we have all the power within ourselves. Any other questions? So where do you buy the egg and how much is it? I have the eggs here. I have a lot of eggs. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the eggs are $40. If you buy the egg in a book, it's $45 together. The book is uh, $10 and the egg is $40. You buy it together, they're $45. For someone, I can't hear you, babe. For You can use it whenever you feel inspired to use it. I use my egg usually every day, every day. And it's off and on sometimes because I've been using it for many years. Sometimes I'll go months without using it. But when you first start out, you want to at least try to remember to do it twice a week, three times a week, 30 minutes a day, put it in you when you go to bed, you know, stuff like that. Yes. 
when it, it comes out automatically. It won't get stuck, but if you feel paranoid about it getting stuck, you can attach a string to it and put it out like a tampon. But it doesn't get stuck. Okay. If you like just bear down or just breathe, it comes out automatically. There's nowhere for it to go. It's not gonna go past your cervix, it's too big. So you don't have to be paranoid about it. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, so questions about like uh, I know you mentioned Kundalini and, and you do associate with like yoga and palm tricking mm-hmm. and things like that. Can you talk a little bit about the use of yoga and possibly even um, even more simpler the use of breath mm-hmm. and conjuring and sustaining the sexual energy? Yes, absolutely. Breath is very important. Breath sustains our life. So even with connecting with a partner, if you synchronize your breath, it's going to move that energy, it's going to create a more magnetic force, a more magnetic connection for you all. So doing things like yoga, of course, it increases your energy. Who's gonna wanna have sex? You're not gonna feel sexy if you're feeling tired and sluggish and things like that. So yoga definitely helps with that. It gives um, the body some lubrication, the joints some lubrication so you can move around. And always, always connect your breath. A lot of women aren't having orgasm, they're keeping it in because they're holding their breath doing sex, right? You have to breathe. Just take a deep breath. When your partner touches you, the first thing you do is to take a deep breath. Just take a deep breath. And that will allow things to flow. A lot of times we, uh, we breathe from here. Most times we breathe from here. If you ever look at someone when they're angry, their breath is all up here in here in their chest. When our breath, yes, say it again. Yes, your breath should always come from here. And this dodging in here where we just felt all that energy, if you put breath there as well, that energy is going to flow. Any other questions? Yes. I'll be the next, next test subject. <laughs> 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 I don't think some people seen it. Right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Any other questions? Great. So thank you all for coming. I hope you learned a great deal about sexual energy, using it to attract and manifest the things that you want in your life. Any more questions, they're in the book. I do um, classes, I stream classes online. Um, My website is drippingbliss.com. And I also do uh, Ustream classes at Dripping Bliss. Um, Yes, I have a couple of uh, class series on my website that you can also purchase that goes deep into the subject, even deeper into the subject. So. Thank you all so much. It was such a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Can we give Jamila a round of applause once again? (laughs) Deep breath. That was lovely. So uh, we really appreciate Jamila going into her book, Have You Ever Had an Orgasm? Hopefully you will. Hopefully you will purchase the book for the females. Hopefully you will purchase the egg, get more education about your body and your health. We really want to encourage you around health as well as wealth here at Black and Nobel University in which all of our businesses is all about promotion of wealth and health. So today's theme about turning that passion into profit, we heard from Jamila and how she turns her passion into profit and also sharing how to turn your passion into profit and also a fulfilling experience in terms of your personal journey in life. So hopefully you've learned something We want to encourage you to continue to engage with Black and Noble University here at the bookstore and online. Again, the website is blackandnobel.com. 